वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कल्टिवेट ओस्टर मशरूम्स इन द समर टाइम एज ओस्टर मशरूम्स आर वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट एंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर मशरूम्स चूजन बाई बिगिनर्स एंड द कल्टिवेटर्स ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एज दे कैन बी इजीली ग्रोन इन देयर होम और इन बिग फार्म्स एंड दे आर इजी टू प्रोसेस फर्दर प्रिजर्व हैंस दे आर क्वाइट पॉपुलर बट द चैलेंज इज फेस्ड बाई द फार्मर्स आर हाउ टू कल्टिवेट दैम ड्यूरिंग द समर टाइम so by the end of this video you will be easily understand each and every aspect of this mushrooms and its technology and how to cultivate them easily during the summer time and by the way uh, for the economic section you can check the video in the description where i have already explained and calculated how you can earn more than 1 crore rupees from just 30 cent of land if you just grow this variety of mushroom this variety of mushroom It belongs to the pleuritus genus and they are very diverse this is the blue oyster mushroom this is pink one the golden florida oyster mushroom then the sajar kaju king oyster mushrooms so there are a lot of varieties so what's the cultivation technology of oyster mushroom basically you require a substrate what are the substrates for the oyster mushrooms anything it anything will work for oyster mushrooms like cereal straw sawdust it can be even soft woods sugar cane bagasse corn cobs coconut coir mixed with the vermiculites coffee grounds newspaper cardboard so basically they are the best recycler you can use any any waste which are available nearby and uh, what you need to do is that uh, you need to chop them into small bits so that it, it can fit uh, the bags or packets where you will cultivate it hence you chop it uh, into 1 to 2 inch size and then add water uh, the moisture content in the final substrate should be 60% once your substrate is ready the next step is pasteurization how to pasteurize you don't need to sterilize the uh, substrate for oyster mushroom cultivation because they are quite strong their mycelium is very vigorous and they doesn't need full uh, sterilization hence you can simply pasteurize them by boiling the substrate uh, uh, if anything is uh, uh, in the 100 degree celsius and they are boiled for 1 to hours they will be sufficient or you can also steam sterilize them using various vessels pressure cookers or drums or diy models using the pipes where steam flows from one chamber to another and it uh, simply boils the substrate and also there are chemical methods available where you add uh, uh, calcium then you add bleaching potassium permanganate there are several varieties of chemicals and combinations which you can be used you can download the same Uh, from this link uh, it given in the description or directly visit bmmushroom.com and uh, visit the download resource material or members only exclusive club where you will get all the pdf where all the chemical formulas are mentioned but you can easily go for the boiling or steaming method that will produce you organic mushrooms and they are quite easy and hassle free to do that then comes the spawning what is spawning spawning is the addition of the spawn mushroom spawn which contains the mycelium into the substrate spawning ratio can be 10 to 15% uh, of the dry weight of the uh, substrate and uh, from where you can purchase spawn all the mention all the varieties of mushroom spawns are available at bmmushroom.com and they can be delivered at your doorstep it's available all around the world and all over india so that's not a big deal and they are very nominal and very good quality spawns you can easily order them online and once you do the spawning part how you need to do spawning for that you need to add uh, the substrate with the spawning in this ratio and fill them inside the bags or you can also uh, mix them by layer by layer as you wish whichever is suitable for you uh, all will be, uh, do fine also you you, uh, you need to make few holes in the bags or you can even use any bucket container bottle small jars anything will be good and fine whatever can hold them and protect them from external uh, rains and insects and pests that will be fine why holes are required they are required for the respirations and then the stage of incubation happens at this stage you don't need to do anything you just keep your bags inside a semi shaded place it doesn't need to be very dark it can be lightly shaded and then the temperature which is needed for um, the incubation stage is 15 to 28 degree celsius if even it goes below 15 degree that's fine but the maximum temperature for oyster mushrooms are 28 degree and that's the challenge during summer time the outside weather can even reach 40 degree celsius then how to maintain that 
very soon i am going to explain you just stay with me till the end of the video and you will be easily maintain uh, 15 to 28 degrees celsius for king oyster mushrooms you need to be uh, lower the temperature a bit and it should be around 21 or 18 degrees celsius for the fruiting stage other than that all the mushrooms are quite fast the pink mushroom can be grown within 10 to 15 days and other oyster mushrooms can go on, uh, grow for uh, at around 20 to 25 days hence the growing st uh, growing is also very easy so incubation periods uh, last between 7 to 20 days why 7 because for pink oyster mushroom and even golden mushrooms they are very fast and within 7 days the bags shall turn white and other varieties will take around 20 days so once the incubation period is uh, done so at that uh, stage then again it comes the stage for fruiting and pinhead at this time you need to um, maintain this constant temperature of around 15 to 28 degree and just increase the humidity of uh, from around eight, uh, 80 percent you can increase it to up to 95 percent or even 100 percent will be fine so for that you need to spray water sprinkle it a light and otherwise you can also use humidifier etc and co2 should be low as you can see during incubation the co2 was moderate but right now it needs more and more fresh air fresh oxygen is the primary thing which will provoke the mushroom fruiting bags uh, for inducing pinheads and then you also need some light oyster mushrooms uh, get excited by lights and they get to know that okay this is the time for fruiting so you need to provide a little bit of light maybe indirect light or you can also install blue led lights which will do it fine so after that the mushrooms will start within two to three days and then you can keep on getting new flushings for next two to three uh, weeks and it will get you around two three more flushings so biological efficiency is also very good it is from 100 percent to 200 percent from oyster mushrooms so one kg of oyster mushrooms generally cost around 15 to 30 rupees per kilogram depending upon your procurement of the cost price labor price etc and it can be easily sold for 100 to 200 300 rupees per kilogram depending upon your market size so then the stage of harvest and packaging and processing actually oyster mushrooms are quite versatile they can be sold fresh dry in the powdered form pickle form chips chicharon papad biscuit candy or several other things now nowadays oyster mushrooms can be converted into anything because they are very nutritious very proteinous they are also used as a um, supplements and diets so the concept of temperature management that's the main uh, thing you should always keep in your mind so there are a few points if you keep it in your mind you will be easily able to manage your temperature in mushroom cultivation first thing is farm design okay the so farm for farm the farm design from the scratch if you are building your farm what you need to do is uh, keep your roof and walls everything roof and wall these are the main factors from where you will get the heat so always use insulated panels don't use anything like metallic sheet tin etc which will easily absorb the temperature from outside always use something which is a bad conductor of uh, heat like uh, puff panel you can use bamboo wood plywood anything which uh, like thermocol or there are insulated special sheets uh, available which you can be wrapped around anything or even the bricks will do fine so the main idea is to build something which is insulated uh, wall and ceiling also uh, you should uh, use uh, this kind of structure rather than using flat surface for the uh, roof because this kind of structure uh, is good for keeping the uh, room cool flat surface easily gets hot and direct sunlight can enter and also if there are scope for you then you should use a ceiling the ceiling is always always it works as a buffer and you can fill the between the ceiling with straw or uh, thermocol or anything which are insulations so first of all if you don't let uh, sun light to enter your uh, room in such a way that it uh, heats up your room then you will able to cool it easily um, this is the first thing also then go for the square room rather than going for rectangle rectangle room because the rectangle room will give you more square fit area to cool and they will produce more heat so overall it is easy to manage the temperature and control the environment in a square structure so these are the first thing the farm design and also you should paint your uh, wall and 
the roof according to the color which should be preferably silver or white because they uh, reflect the sunlight and don't let uh, your room get hot if you use some dark color like black red then it will absorb the sunlight and it will heaten up your room then you have to use the technology of mist fan cooler either other, otherwise high pressure fogger or honeycomb cooling pad one by one i will explain them so what is mist fan cooler mist fan cooler is very simple thing here you can see the fans can be installed uh, they are fitted with this kind of uh, rings these rings are having fine nozzles which produce very fine droplets of mist and as the fan blows and uh, the mist gets uh, into the air and they turn into evaporate evap evaporation so you can see this is another mistifier here no fan is used but it is uh, producing fine droplets of fogs so they are very cheap they doesn't cost much and they can be easily fitted at wall ceiling or anywhere uh, in, throughout the farm and whenever you on the mist fan cooler it will cool down your inside room by around 10 to 15 degrees celsius easily so they are already these are the things pipes this which comes with this system another system you can use is uh, this system are uh, often used in uh, greenhouse chambers these are high pressure uh, fogging here the high pressure foggers are installed just like mist uh, fan system uh, throughout the farm and the edges these are the nozzles which produce very tiny particles of water at very high speed what happens is that when the such particles gets exposed to the hot air it it readily evaporates and produce a cooling effect throughout the farm so if you use these things you can easily control your temperature by 10 to 15 degrees celsius which are quite good because we need only moderate temperature around 25 degree or at most 26 27 degree so anyway we don't need a chilling temperature for oyster mushrooms so they are quite good and cost effective if you use this kind of mist systems then another technology is there which is called honeycomb pad system honeycomb pad system what happens is that uh, they are these panels these are like honeycomb uh, and they are called that and they these panels can be easily fitted all around the farm structure you can see uh, like this and a water system is set up where what happens is that actually uh, at a temperature at a area where the uh, air outside is very warm and the dry air then what we do we need a temperature ambient temperature inside our farm which is cold and full of moisture because our mushrooms need moisture so how do we maintain that for that if we uh, install the system what happens is that uh, they absorb the uh, hot and warm air in inside from the outside and when they get kind of when they <coughs> are uh, absorbed by the water when they get connected with the water which is flowing uh, over this honeycomb here you can see the water is getting pumped from in uh, vessel and it is flowing continuously through this uh, honeycomb uh, cooler which is kind of a grass so when the hot air gets con connected with it it instantly evaporates uh, into a uh, cold air so the high pressure uh, fan which are uh, also installed with this what it does is it sucks in and it continuously uh, blow cool and moisture air which is what we need for mushroom cultivation so this is a very simple technology but very effective it can decrease the farm temperature by around 20 degree degree celsius so uh, for easily it can manage for 10 to 20 degree celsius inside your room so whenever there are uh, and also what happens is that for the mist system as well as the honeycomb system you can uh, attach them with controllers microprocessors which are very effective for automation and whenever you they detect the temperature which is going above and they can easily on these motor pumps also you can uh, make grid like patterns automate these and also there are several apps in the mobile which gets connected with this kind of microcontroller and you can remotely control the humidity and temperature inside your mushroom farm so they are very effective in that and generally whenever we think about cooling our stuff uh, the air condition comes into our mind why we are not referring air condition the first thing is it is very costly 
and uh, it can uh, it can uh, first of all it is costly setup and it consumes a lot of power secondly the air condition works on the principle of dehumidification whenever we run ac it uh, kind of absorbs the moisture in the air and dehumidifies it but for the mushroom we not only need cool temperature we also need humid temperature humidity so uh, but uh, the domestic ac uh, if if we install there is a way out if you are having domestic air condition and you want to use that first of all we don't need a chilling temperature which is very uh, low like 15 degrees something like that we need a moderate temperature for that what we can do is first of all we have to build our farm in an insulation insulated panel Uh, and then what we can do it we uh, can install automatic uh, controllers the microprocessors which uh, looks like this and once they are attached with the air conditioning system they will detect your temperature automatically whenever it uh, goes above certain benchmark it will on and whenever they come below it will off in that way you will save on your energy energy part it will be then cheaper option and also you will need to install a humidifier you can also use fogger or humidifier which are, or also you can make your own humidifier diy we will soon make those videos how to make that so main factor is that you can install air condition but you have to also uh, make a setup where you will get humid air as well so for the previous two things for honeycomb and mist those were not required they will produce uh, cold temperature as well as moist environment so that's the drawback of the air conditioner and that's it uh, mushroom cultivation is quite easy especially oyster mushroom cultivation but there are a lot of more things to learn like uh, how to control and tackle the pest and disease how to uh, do food processing about the marketing if you need marketing support uh, how to do marketing where to sell if you want buy leads you can directly contact us on bmmushroom.com there are several training courses as well as which are available and you can also uh, join our free um, uh, groups cohorts where we do uh, provide uh, continuous ebooks materials study materials uh, and uh, buy leads also you can uh, join our upcoming uh, <coughs> webinar which is free in which we will uh, talk all about the technologies of mushroom cultivation in details so the link is in the description thank you have a nice day